and welcome along to AFTV. Now, I've got a question for you. Who are FC Vorskla? Vorskla, Polteva. Who are they? Have you ever heard of them? Be honest now. Before the Europa League draw, had you ever heard of FC Vorskla? Because I've got to be completely honest, I'd never heard of them. And I'm a person that, you know, I, that's all I do. I'm always just looking at football. I like to watch football um, in different countries. But I'd never heard of the Ukrainian team until they were drawn against Arsenal. And uh, yeah, the Europa League is back with a massive game against FC Vorskla. Yeah. Now, listen, no disrespect to um, FC Vorsa because, you know, I just basically never heard of them before. I don't know a lot about them. But, listen, they've earned their place in the Europa League. Um, and they're the team that we're going to have to beat come Thursday. And uh, that's who Arsenal are going to be taking on in their first game at the Emirates Stadium. And, um, listen, it, it is a bit difficult to get excited about it because it's not your big Champions League game. Um, I think uh, when we see games like this... This is where you realise how important it is to be um, in the Champions League because the level of teams that you're playing are just nowhere near the level of teams you play in the Champions League. And as I said, no disrespect to FC Vorskla, but it's just the, the reality of it. Now, FC Vorskla, they finished third in their league, in the Ukrainian league, and that's how they've earned their place um, in the Europa League. And as I said, they've earned their place. And uh, they're the team that we're going to have to um, take on and beat on Thursday night. As I said, I don't know a lot about them. Uh, most of their players are uh, all Ukrainian-born players. They've got a couple of Brazilians in the team. Uh, one's called Arta. The other one's called uh, Nicolas Kareka. Uh, both of them on loan from Gremio. And basically, that's about all I know about them. They've been in the uh, Europa League before. But the last time they were in the Europa League, um, they got beaten um, without even... Well, they went through the group without winning a game. And they didn't even have that difficult group. There were teams like Standard Liège in there, FC Copenhagen. And they didn't even win a game. So, on paper, it looks like a very easy game for Arsenal Football Club. Now, what sort of team will Arsenal play? Remember, Unai Emery... Um, built his reputation off of this competition when he was at Sevilla. He won it three times in a row at Sevilla. And uh, that is the thing that really got all the big clubs around Europe uh, looking at Unai Emery. He got the big move to PSG um, where he won the treble there. And then he's now got another big move to Arsenal. But all of that, you know, really comes off of the reputation that he built by taking Sevilla to the final of the... Um, Europa League three times in a row and winning it. And don't forget, remember that final when they beat Liverpool? You know, that was really, really impressive. So he knows the competition. He knows it well. And it's going to be really interesting to see what sort of team he goes with. Remember, at the weekend, there's a really difficult game against Everton. Uh, Everton, a bit of an indifferent start to the season, but they do have some very good players in their team. And they're going to be coming to the Emirates Stadium and of course, they won't have a game and they'll be really stung after, you know, losing at home to West Ham. So they're going to be really pumped up and prepared for that game. So what sort of players will we see playing in that game against Vorskla? Because as I said, on paper, it should be an easy win. And the home games in the Europa League, I think, are going to be really, really important, you know, um, for getting through the group stages. Basically, if you win all of your home games and maybe get even at least one draw away from home, you're more or less guaranteed to go through to the next stages of the Europa League. So winning at home is going to be very important. However, as I said, with that game coming up against Everton, surely he's going to rest some of the key players. Um, I don't expect to see a Bamiyang Lacazette playing. I'd be really surprised to see that. Um, maybe a Granit Xhaka probably won't feature in that. Mesut Ozil, I very much doubt we'll see in a game like that. So... There's certain key players that I think will be rested. I do, however, think he'll play quite a strong team in the, you know, there will be some youngsters in there, but I don't think it will be pure youngsters. He's going to want to get off to a really good start. And we're going to see some players that are sort of knocking on the door of the first team. Burn Leno, the goalkeeper that we've all been waiting to see. The goalkeeper that lots of you have been calling to calling for to start in, in front of Petr Cech. 
will get his chance to play. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe the manager might go with Martinez. I don't know. But surely Bern Leno is going to start this game. And we'll get to see what he's like playing the ball out from the back um, and his abilities there. Um, Lischsteiner. We should see Lischsteiner start in this game. I think it's perfect for him to start. There's been rumblings that he's been a bit unhappy that he hasn't started any games yet for Arsenal. Um, he'll get his chance to start in this game. And again, if he shines in this game, um, maybe, you know, this is a great chance for people like Lischsteiner and Leno to say, hey, listen, first team, I should be in it. So those guys will be starting and those guys will be looking to play really, really well. Um, Centre-halves. It'd be interesting to see who comes in there. I, I, I'd be very much doubt that he'll play um, Socrates and, um, you know, play, play Socrates in there and Mustafi because, you know, again, there's not really much backup for them if any of those two got injured. So probably see Rob Holding come in there and maybe a start from Ravapinus as well. So, again, um, guys who might be able to get their chance in this game. And then going into midfield... There's lots of rumours going around that Lucas Torreira is going to start this game, which I find kind of odd. I mean, I want Lucas Torreira to start on Sunday against Everton. And if anything, I would have thought rest him up a bit for this game and then start him on Sunday and maybe start Gwendozi in this game. But, you know, lots of the rumours that are flying around seem to suggest that Lucas Torreira um, will start this game. Um, I think we will see maybe Henrik Mkhitaryan get a start in this game. Uh, Danny Welbeck possibly um, getting a start up front or maybe out and wide, wide on one of the wings. I'm not sure on the fitness of Alex Iwobi, but again, he's a guy that maybe could come in for this. And maybe a start for Eddie Nketiah, who's um, again um, been knocking on the door. He's done really, really well um, for the under-23s. And, you know, listen, when he came in last year in the uh, League Cup, he did really, really well. And, of course, there's youngsters um, that did really, really well in pre-season. And the one that really stands out is Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, you know, he was excellent um, in pre-season. And it'd be really good to see him get a start in the game and see if he can go in there and impress. And then, of course, there's guys like Mohamed El Nenny. Um, you know, so a lot of guys that have sort of been on the bench, I think, will get their chance to play in this game. And we should have still... A very strong team. It's never perfect because, you know, you're playing a team that's not really played together much. But I reckon that we may see, you know, lots of changes in this game because basically he wants to surely keep players fresh for that game against Everton. So it's going to be a really interesting game um, in that we're going to get to see, as I said, a lot of players that haven't started yet. And for me, there's going to be a, the, the, the main... Two things for that game that I'll be looking at will be, is Leno ready to start in the first team? Should Lischsteiner start in the first team? Those two are going to be really, really interested. But Torreira, even if he starts, I already know from what I've seen, the cameos that he should be starting. But those two in particular are going to be really interested to see. And I'm going to be also really interested to see Emil Smith-Rowe. Because this kid... I mean, I saw him in the under-23s the other day against Tottenham. And again, he looked really impressive. And is this kid ready to, to start in the, in the first team? Um, he's going to get a chance. And this game's coming up where some of these uh, fringe players, I don't even like to call them fringe players, squad players, because this is a squad game now. And the Europa League will test our squad to the max because you've got these Thursday, Sunday games, and it's really, really difficult. Um, this is a chance for those players in the squad to step up and say to Unai Emery, hey, play me in the first team. And from what I've seen of Unai Emery so far, he looks to be the type of manager that if you're performing, you're going to get a chance. So this is this is big for a lot of these players that are going to be playing. And that's what makes it really interesting. Um, not for the fact that, you know, we're not playing a major team, but just for the fact that, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. And these guys are going to get a lot of chances because coming up next week, Brentford. On Wednesday night, a couple of days after um, playing on um, Sunday against Everton, again, a lot of the squad players will get used for that game. So they're going to get games, they're going to get um, chances. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens. I'd like you guys in the comments below to let me know what you think the lineup should be for the game. Do you think we should go with a strong lineup? Or do you think you know we need to get a lot of these squad players into the team and playing and gelling? And also, 
I really like to hear from you. Have you ever heard of FC Vorskla before the draw was made for Europa League? Be honest, I'm going to run a poll on it. Have you ever heard of FC Vorskla? Be truthful. Tell me if you ever heard of them because I'm just being... I, that's what I am, man. I'm, I'm just being honest, man. I've never heard of them before. Um, so I'm still looking forward to the game. Thursday night, Arsenal uh, start off the, the Europa League campaign. It would be fantastic to win it this year. We got close last year, but it'd be fantastic to win it this year. And of course, you've got that added prize of getting that Champions League place. So it would be great to win it. Um, but looking forward to the game on Thursday, of course... Um, AFTV TV will be down there, so make sure you come, get, um, come and tell us what you thought of the game afterwards. And also, don't forget to check out um, my uh, new program that's on Channel 4 every Friday at midnight, previewing all the weekend's games, the Real Football Fan Show. We do it through the eyes of all the fans around the Premier League. Um, last week's show was brilliant. Make sure you check it out this week, especially the head-to-head -head feature. It's brilliant. Uh, thanks for watching the show, um, and let's... Hope we get a win on Thursday.